Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody said Tell them I close, no stash, please. Soon as I you can go, leave. Got M's in the bank. What's up, what's good? This squad, how you doing? I'm your man. It's your boy D back to all with another banger reaction, man. How y'all feeling this Thursday, man? It's almost Friday. Hope y'all safe. Y'all already know what it is, man. 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 Y'all already know what it is, Apparently there is a video out, you know, that's trending about 20 things that we didn't know about her About Curry, well-known Stephen Curry so, This is gonna be interesting because what don't we know about Curry other than him being a great basketball player? Having an amazing wife Being one of the best arguably one of the best shooters ever What else could it be? You know what I'm saying? So it's we finna we finna This finna be an adventure I don't even know why, cause I this this is this is exciting. Curry, man, he's like we know who Curry is. We know a lot about him. You know what I'm saying? But it's a 16 minute video. This shit better be this. We, it better be something we did not know at all. I better be, I better be gasping. I better be gasping at the end of this video. But yeah, that's neither here or there, man. We finna get right into it, cause this is a pretty long video. But um. For those of y'all who haven't did it already, I would appreciate if y'all subscribe, like this video, comment on this video, share this video with your friends, man. I would greatly appreciate it. Other than that, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Y'all not here for me, y'all here for the video. Let's get it though. There's some things Steph Curry doesn't tell anyone. Near death car crashes, weird oh. pregame rituals, and a disease that's making him go blind. But until this Is this accurate? Is this I don't mean to pause. I'm not I'm I'm not planning on pausing this video a lot, but Said that this nigga blind? Half blind? Been in a nearly. Hold on. Because he has been around for a minute, so it's, this is probably some stuff in the past or something. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on real quick. And a disease that's making him go blind. But until this week, no one knew that Steph Curry has been battling deteriorating eyesight. These what? are 20 things you didn't know about Steph Curry. And for number 20, there's no way you knew that. Before the NBA, Steph Curry was a YouTuber. Okay. In 2007. Stephen Babyface Curry? Damn, that's, that's just perfect. That's, hey, no. Y'all, imagine if he hopped right back on YouTube. Bro, he'll do, he'll do millions. Oh, my God. I think he's the most paid uh, NBA player right now, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Yo, that would be so dope, bro, if he came to YouTube, back on YouTube. Yo, Steph and Babyface Curry is crazy, bro. Well, Steph was in college. Him and his boys started a YouTube channel where they posted nothing but bangers. Their Sunday <laughs> brunch is going to and last night's girl thinks you're a two. Oh, I am so tasty. Oh, oh. Let's see, he's being so curry right now. My boy was a YouTube star. Oh, God. And these days, he's on a whole new level. Oh, In God. Fact, to number 19. I bet you didn't know that the most expensive basketball card in the world is of Steph Curry. This. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised because it's curry, man. It's curry. Everybody's going to get that. that. That thing. And then he's a champion again. They just beat the Celtics in the, in the finals, man. Come on now. That's a nice ass card, though. Look. The Steph's rookie logo, man. And but with only one of these cards in existence, 2021, it was sold for a ridiculous $5.9 million. $5.9 million for a basketball, basketball card? Oh, he making money. Sold. But hey, man, Steph Curry's worth it. Because for number 18, oh. Probably didn't know that Steph is so good at basketball that he literally broke NBA 2K. See, huh. in 2015, Steph Makes was sense. shooting an insane 45% from three. <clears throat> so when now, I'm playing with him. 2K16, uh. his in-game character <clears throat> was hitting Get all the animations, balls, man. Like it was nothing. Come Making on. gamers <clears throat> <remember one. laughs> Every time. No, look how fucking young Cash was, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, look how fucking young Cash was, bro. <laughs> That's how you know he's been around for a minute, too. Hey, yo, nah, nah. Cash is a legend, bro. <laughs> But he's done some people even worse. Cause for number 17, there's no way you knew that Steph cost Under Armour hundreds of millions of dollars. In 2016, what? Steph was hyping up his latest signature sneaker. 
The Curry 3s, thinking they'd be the hottest shoe the game's ever seen. But when fans got their first look, they hated them, calling the shoes ugly, no. overpriced, and overrated. I didn't know that. The I didn't know niggas were fucking with that. I didn't know niggas were fuck with the sneakers when they came out. That's probably me, though, right? You know, because I don't be paying attention to all that. But I didn't even... That's crazy. But, like, stuff other than that, like, we already knew. We, we at least had an idea about it. Like, bro, him breaking 2K, like, come on now. Like, like, really, like, yeah, like. Shoot, he can't miss, man. I feel like some of us knew that. I feel, like, I feel like we both knew that. But I feel like it's about to get real juicy. We only like not even three minutes in the video. He's finally dropped. The CEO of Foot Locker admitted that the shoes were selling terribly. The Foot Locker CEO Dick Johnson said Friday, uh, "It's softer than expected," and that sent the shares tumbling under our walls about six hundred million dollars in the market. Oh God, damn, yeah. six hundred million. Six hundred million. That Shit. is crazy. Oh, it's even crazier. This is number 16. Guys, you may not have known that. Steph has the weirdest training routine in NBA history. Does he? See, back in 2012, Steph wanted to take his game to another level. So, he adopted an experimental training routine that is just weird. From wearing strobe light goggles to jumping in sensory deprivation. What tape. the fuck is that? This nigga taking a fucking neon bath, man. Weird. From wearing strobe light -like goggles to jumping in sensory deprivation tanks. This nigga floating in water in a fucking space machine. Yo, this nigga Curry got money, bro. Yo, yo, only niggas with money, dog. No, only Curry. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Jay, you don't see Jay Z doing this shit. You, <laughs> yo, Curry is just fucking like wealthy, bro. He's doing wealthy people shit. Like, this nigga was floating in water in a fucking space machine, yo. <laughs> yo, Curry, yo. I ain't mad. Steph was looking like a damn science experiment. You know what I'm saying? It worked. Because he became quicker and more accurate on the court. Averaging yeah, eight he's crazy. points per game. He's the fucking very crazy. next season. Man, it comes to being the best. Damn. This man it's Steph like a massage or something. Nothing. But, believe it or not, for number 15, there's one thing that Steph's even better at singing. Singing? I noticed that you think you can sing. But this is the remix of Steph and Curry. That shit's beautiful, man. Uh, bro, we, bro, 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 this, 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 that ain't, that ain't, this ain't it, bro, this ain't it, bro, this ain't it, 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 bro. The remix with Stephen Curry. <laughs> Hey yo 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 yo! <laughs> How high is the water, Papa? Three feet high, Robin. Looking at it. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We can't put that in there. That ain't it. He can't sing, bro. Beautiful man. But uh, I can't say the same for number fourteen because you probably never knew that Steph Curry almost died. Dang. See, in 2018, Steph was behind the wheel of his Porsche. That's hella recent. Cruising down Highway 24 in Oakland when. All of a sudden, the silver Lexus cut in front and ran him off the freeway. In the blink of an Damn. eye, Steph's car was totaled, leaving him stranded. How many of y'all knew that, man? But luckily, everyone walked away from the scene with no injuries. And Steph was just grateful to be alive. Bro, people had to know this shit, bro. This shit had to be on the news, bro. As soon as they found out it was Curry, they put that shit straight on the news on play. Come on, dog. It's just, they probably saying stuff that most people don't know. I, I ain't gonna lie, if you hit the news, people gonna know. I didn't, but that's probably the whole point of this video. I don't know. Man, something like that. That's fucked up. really make you appreciate life. And uh, that's exactly why at number 13, Steph is spending millions of dollars saving an entire city. Oh, See, God. in 2019, Real Steph shit. launched the Eat, Learn, Play Foundation. A charity Real that shit. is back to the kids of Golden State. Yeah. Right, from donating 100,000 books. Yeah. Serving 16 million meals. Real so shit. Eat, Learn, Play is changing lives. And in just a couple of years, Steph's charity has already raised over $15 million. Damn. All for the kids of Oakland. Of course. Steph's That's what you felt to do. Now, for number you have 12, to. you probably knew that Steph broke the record for the most threes of all time. Yeah, I knew that. What you didn't know is that he turned the shoes he wore that night into his very own 
NFT, the Curry Genesis Flow. Oh, Lord, any, hey, whoa, N NFT Genesis Flow, $330. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. How many of y'all knew that, bruh? Nigga, sneakers are NFT, bruh. And at $333 each, these NFTs sold out. Raised over so. a million dollars, all for charity. Man, this new stuff is full of surprises. In fact, for number 11, I bet you didn't know that five-year-old Steph was in a Burger King commercial. Bro, they yes. running out. Yeah. I can't be so big. You have to just that way. What's it to be great, Bro, this nigga is doing everything, bro. This nigga, do look at him. This nigga, like, yo, bro. <laughs> nigga, like one of the kids off like Mike. Hey, listen, yo, he doing everything, my nigga. This nigga doing everything, bro. Well, you really got him once. You got to taste. You got to be able to. Damn, smell. I look like him too. That's crazy. Then you really got to be hungry for. Yeah, can we go to Burger King? I am really hungry. From Burger King. To three point king. Man. But I'm right, in the top ten. So things are about to get even crazier. Cause I bet you didn't know that Steph Kerr, the greatest shooter in NBA history, might go blind. Yeah. I didn't know that shit. Ten Come on years now. Years of his career, everything seemed fun. Steph was hitting threes, making passes, and becoming a goat. But in 2019, he discovered something horrifying. Curry has a genetic disease called keratoconus. Is it 2017? Something. These making passes and becoming a goat. But in 2019. Oh, 2019. God damn, that's recent. Curry has a genetic disease called keratoconus. About one in two thousand people suffer from it. The fuck! This nigga got a titty on his. Genetic eye? disease called keratoconus. About. I know this. I know my girlfriend knows some shit about that. I listen. I don't know what that is. Bro, but that looks so fucking weird, bro. Man. One in 2,000 people suffer from it. The reason I felt I couldn't see very well is because our GM, Bob Myers, saw me on TV one time just squinting, looking at the scoreboard, and he came up and asked me, like, can you actually see? And I was like, no, I just see the color orange really well. This disease what the fuck? makes your vision worse and worse, has no cure, and if left untreated, can leave you blind. So the only Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Untreated? But you just says no care. So what the? F so what? He gotta take medication. Has no cure, and if left untreated, can leave you blind. So the only thing Steph could do was get contacts, and wow. his eyesight doesn't get any worse. But Damn, bro, that's just fucked up. He can lean on. Like in number nine, because I don't think you knew that Steph's biggest fan is LeBron James. See, I mean, back in 2008, I was watching Steph ball out in the NCAA tournament, and he was so impressed that after the game, he introduced himself and gave Steph the gift of a lifetime. I don't have to do this. He gave me a jersey when I was in high school. Of course, I was in college by Ben Davidson, and I still have it on the wall. <laughs> My parents That's my okay. Parents. Okay, Brian. Double Brian. He wrote it like to the King of Basketball in, uh, in North Carolina uh, and signed it and all that. Man. It's Damn. Crazy. He's got to get the love that he deserves. Because the guy has done a lot for his community. In fact, and yo, he came from that to beating him in the finals, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. That's that's goals right there. He came from him, from admiring him to beating him in the. That's crazy. That is crazy, bro. It's what it says. All these young talents, bro. They really got what it takes to outdo the vets. I swear to God, bro. You look at John ja Morant. Ja um, what's that dude name? Oh yeah, Lonzo. Um, Anthony Edwards, bro, both of these, all these niggas, yo, Giannis, yo, nigga, this shit is a movie, bro. The NBA's getting scary. Number eight, I bet you had no idea that Steph is the first NBA player to design shoes for girls. See, back in 2018. What? No. Didn't Jordan make girl? Didn't Jordan make shoes for girls? Like the paint 12s, or did they come later? What? His community. In fact, for number eight, I bet you had no idea that Steph is the first NBA player to design shoes for girls. See, back oh, you told my life. Steph got a letter in the mail that broke his heart. It was a nine-year-old fan upset that his latest signature shoe wasn't made in girl sizes. And when Steph Damn. Did that, what? He knew we had to make things right, so we got in touch with the girl's family and teamed up with Under Armour to design her very own. Signature shoe. It's um, two girls playing basketball and then encouraging words by. You sparkle. 
Oh, that's real nigga shit, but I didn't know that he was the first to do that. But number seven was a massive L, because there's no way you knew that. Steph got banned from buying his own sports team. In 2018, Steph saw that his favorite NFL team, the Carolina Panthers, were up for sale. So this nigga Curry is a Panthers fan? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. That shit probably changed the whole perspective of Curry for me. Carolina, stop. Oh, damn, that's sad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop fucking pausing, man. I'm sorry. Favorite NFL team. Shit. The Panthers were up for sale. So, he started making some calls and reaching out to investors. Until eventually, he teamed up with Diddy and NBA owner Michael Rubin to put together an offer to buy the Panthers for $2 billion. What? And with a number like that, it seemed like the deal was done. But at the very last second, the deal was shut down by none other than the NBA. Because apparently, Ooh. they thought an active player buying a team with an NBA owner was a conflict of interest. I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to say, how can that work? To another group. This nigga try to drinks. make milestones and shit. Do shit now, that niggas ain't do. Six, I bet you didn't know that. Steph designed one of the ugliest cars in the world. Not even doing that. Infinity hired Steph to shoot a car commercial. And the idea behind the ad was that Steph would design the ugliest car he could think of just to prank his friend. Damn. You know, my relationship obviously with Infinity goes back a couple years now. And, uh, they gave me the opportunity to put my fingerprint on the concept car. Let's see what you're talking about. Here we go. What the fuck is that? Here we go. Bro, even the name is ugly. QX0 Concept? It's Curry. 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 It's like one of them. Oh my god. Not a three wheeler. Curry, Curry wanted to be an astronaut. You know. Whoa. That's right here. Yo. So yeah, he, he wanna roast the fuck out of him right now. This is the future for real. Now look. This is the future for real. Steph's a creative. Yeah, fine. You definitely didn't know about his latest project. Cause for number five, Steph is creating his very own cartoon. Yeah. You might have seen Steph appear in an episode of Family Guy. But what you probably missed. That in 2020, Steph announced he was teaming up with Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane to reboot the classic 70s sitcom Good Times. Oh my god. Seth MacFarlane? Steph Curry? Good Times reboot? Huh? I asked myself the same question, but we don't. Wanted to bring the Good Times show back and bring some of the hilarity, some of the uh, good conversations and animated. So, we better to work with than Seth MacFarlane. And uh, there's no official release date wow. yet, but it's been in production for a couple of years. So hopefully it comes out pretty soon. But in the meantime, we got to talk about number four. See, there's one sport that Steph loves a little too much. Golf. This nigga like golf? Oh, God. It's under my skin. Like, no matter how well you play, you always play. You can play better. Very similar to basketball, so. I'm on the bench. This nigga a golfer. Dead ball or something. A sling tip might pop up in my head. It's not good. What the hell did he say? A sling tip might pop up in my head. It's not good. I'm haunted by it. That's what my wife says, I'm haunted. You know, I'm starting to think Steph's got problems. Yo, yeah, cuz what did he just say, bro? Dead ball or something. I'm on the bench. Dead ball or something. A sling tip might pop up in my head. Curry. What the fuck does that mean, bro? <laughs> but anyways, we're entering the top three. So, you're about to see a whole new side of Steph you've never seen before. Guys, I bet you didn't know about the time the Steph I'm glad they showing me for showing us the shit. Controversy. See, I'm glad they showing this shit so, to, to, so we don't think that they capping. They showing us proof, bro. About the time the Steph sparked a worldwide controversy. See, 
back in 2018, Steph was on an episode of Winging It with Vince Carter and some friends. And it was here that, out of nowhere, Steph dropped a bombshell. Have we ever been to the moon? No. no. I think I'm gonna get this <laughs> <laughs> I'm conspiracy. Sorry, I was just saying we got to be on the moon. You don't think What so? you mean by that? Yeah. What you mean by that? What you mean by that? No. no. I think I'm gonna get us. <laughs> Who gonna come get us? What you mean by that, Kurt? I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that. I'm conspiracy. Sorry, I was just saying we got to be on the moon. You don't think so? Yeah, Steph said we've never been to the moon, sending the internet into a frenzy. Was Steph Curry joking when he said he doesn't believe Americans landed on the moon? Ah. <laughs> oh, he's saying that this shit is never to. Oh shit. Oh shit, Curry. You, you, hey, you didn't set yourself up, fam. I ain't lying. I don't think this is funny, actually. Like we can laugh at it, but I don't think it's funny. It happened. The moon landing happened. And with the people over in. Nixon, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where he was going with that. They were pissed, so they called up Steph and had a little conversation. It's been one of those kind of situations where I had President Obama reach out, I've had uh, yourself, uh, one other astronaut that really want to educate me on how significant you know, the, the moon landing was. Obviously, it was real. But well, Steph didn't stop. I don't know why he said that shit. Shortly after, he put his money where his mouth was, teaming up with Under Armour to create custom moon landing shoes all with right. all the proceeds going to support science. Walking on the moon. Yeah, there you go. Steph, right. screwed up, but he clearly has a heart of gold. That's why for number two, you might not have known that Steph became best friends with Obama. I ain't I ain't surprised. In 2015, when Steph met Obama at a White House charity event. And from the jump, the two hit it off. So much that over the next few years, they became best friends. That's what's doing up. Doing commercials, giving speeches, hell, even golfing together. <laughs> These days, Steph and Obama are like brothers. In fact, in 2022, right after Steph won his fourth ring, the very first person to call him up was none other than Obama. Hmm. Yeah, man. The finals was crazy, dog. Oh, I wish I, I wish I could say that. I wish I could say that. I was like, oh, man. This is, this is from the, yeah. This is from the recent finals. That's crazy. From the recent finals, man. Told you, bro. This man is a superstar. Man, this dude's step has got it all. And he's done all kinds of incredible things. But what if I told you that all of these moments should have never happened? Because the number one thing you didn't know about Steph This shit better be good, bro. This is the number one thing. This shit better be something that I never had an idea of. If, if it is, I'm stopping the video. If, it, if, it, if it's something that we already heard about, I'm stopping the video. Third, is that the Golden State Warrior a lot of potential. Winning Rookie of the Month 3-4. But in 2012, things took a turn. God damn. Because Steph was constantly getting hurt. Needing two ankle surgeries. Fuck. Missing over <laughs> of his third season. So, the executives at Golden State started wondering, is Steph Curry really that guy? And when they got a call yes. from the Bucks asking to trade for Steph Curry, they had their finger on the trigger, ready to get rid of him if the price was right. But, at the very last second, one man stepped in to save the day. Steph's coach, Mark Jackson. So, uh... Niggas don't play about, about Curry, bro. He's like, yo... I'll let you know, like, they wanted you in the trade. But so I kind of stepped into it and said, I'm going to give you the key. I felt like I gotta really believe in you. We just got to get you healthy. And that's what the rest of the season going to be about. So, you know, his line don't make me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, because they will try to trade your ass if your ass get, get injured. Damn, yo, he got his ass. Damn, he got, his ankles just got fucking violated. <laughs> but, nah, like, they will try to do that. Like, regardless of who you is, you be the best player on the court. You keep getting hurt, they're going to be like, listen, you got to get up out of it. You're going to be in a conversation. But thank God that they, 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 um, his coach stepped in and was like, oh, what the fuck? Damn, bro, my shit just fucking fit. <laughs> shit. But yeah, thank God his coach stepped in and was like, no, we ain't going for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so that, I, I, that was when it was like, Trey happened and like, oh, by the way, that could have been me. Like, uh, all at the same time. Um, crazy, crazy day. I'll never forget that that moment. For Steph, this was the day that changed everything. Because instead of trading him, the 
Warriors gave Steph his biggest contract yet. Right. $44 million. Yep. So getting that cheese. Behind him, Steph put the entire NBA on notice. And over the next few years, he turned the Warriors franchise into a dynasty. Winning four Word. Wins, and he's not done yet. Hell no. He gonna keep on winning. Instead of the Warriors. And that's crazy. But to be honest, we've seen some moments that aren't just crazy. They're flat out nuts. Uh, at one time, Shaq almost killed someone. Oh, shit. LeBron caused an entire riot. Yeah, and if all that sounds crazy. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Yo, why is people getting their damn ankles broken in this video? Yeah, man. That's crazy. Like, it's some things in here, I ain't gonna lie, that, that had me like, okay, I did not know that. But we all here, man. Some stuff that we, it's gonna be some stuff about certain people that we look up to, um, or some public figures that, that, that stuff happened to them that we had no idea. It's just human stuff. Human stuff gonna happen to you no matter what, no matter how big you are, how much money you got. Shit's gonna still happen. Other than that, man, I hope y'all like this video, man. I'm finna get up out here. I'm about to edit this video. Hope y'all enjoy it when I drop it. Other than that, deepest out this bitch, man. Peace, y'all.